Hi all, uh, we have come up with a new course which will help you crack the interviews of broad based companies. Uh, let me first explain you how the procedure will be. Now if you wish to crack the interviews of any broad based companies, first they will give you a problem and you are supposed to come up with a solution. The solution in terms of the algorithm and the data structures, right? So once you propose this solution, you are supposed to analyze it. Let us say you have come up with two, three solutions. You are supposed to analyze all the solutions possible, given that you have, you know, uh, implemented it using many data structures, and then you have to pick the best solution possible, okay, in terms of space and time complexity. Once you are done with that, the next phase will be implementation. So you have to take any programming language that you like and you have to implement it. Generally, uh, companies don't specifically ask for any particular programming language. You can go with uh, any language of your choice. So mainly, this is what is going to happen in the interview procedure. So first thing is, you are supposed to give algorithms uh, as a solution. And once you give this algorithm, you are supposed to implement it. So you have to learn, one is programming, and the other one is algorithms and the other one is data structures. If you can learn these three and if you can apply them for solving the problems, you will be through. Uh, given that you satisfy all the other criteria like 70% uh, or whatever the company is asking for. Given that you have all the other uh, required criteria, if you meet all that, then if you have these three, then it will be easy for you to crack the interviews. So keeping this in mind, we have framed this uh, course in such a way that it will exactly satisfy all these three needs. So first thing is, we have taken C programming language and we, are, we have explained it right from basics. So we start with the introduction and then give you the flow control statements and then functions, arrays, pointers and then structures and unions. Now once you learn this, so C programming language, you will be able to implement any data structure and any algorithm and you will be able to solve any problem using it, right? So that is why I have taken this small, you know, this basic uh, programming language. You must be knowing uh, C programming language, isn't it? But still we revise it once again. Now the next thing is, we start with data structures and again in data structures also we start from basics and introduce first the basic data structures required so the basic data structures are stacks queues linked list trees hashing heaps and graphs so while explaining all this we start from the basics and we tell you how to implement it and second thing is we also give you some uh, standard examples which will be given in most of the textbooks so after doing this you will be able to learn the basics of this and after the basics are done, we will go with the advanced data structures. Now in the advanced data structures, we are going to cover binomial heap, Fibonacci heap, skip list, red black trees, tries, ternary search trees, segment trees, play trees, interval trees, binary index trees, B trees and B plus trees. While explaining these concepts, again we start with the basics and we explain you the data structure. Along with that, we will give you some uh, standard examples. Right? And after this is done, so after the data structures are done, we go with the algorithms. Now in algorithms also we start from the basics and we tell you how to analyze the space and time complexity of algorithm and then we explain you various paradigms which are available. So we explain you sorting and searching techniques, divide and conquer, greedy, backtracking, dynamic and complexity classes. While explaining these techniques, we take some standard examples and we give you, uh, you know, while explaining them. Okay. Now, after finishing all these three, one is programming, data structures and algorithms, given any problem, you will be able to solve it using all these concepts, right? Now, what we do is, finally, we take the real world problems, which will be uh, useful in the product development phase in any company. And these problems are also most frequently asked problems in uh, many interviews. We have collected all these problems and for every problem, uh, we solve them or we propose what are all the solutions possible and then we pick the best solution by analyzing them and also we will give you the code. Right? Now exactly what are the problems we have solved under each category is. So these are all the categories of the problems that we have solved. Now if you want to see what are all the problems we have solved exactly, 
you can uh, uh, find the list in our website in our website we have given you exactly what are the questions or what are the problems we have solved under linked list stacks queues trees like that so all these topics we have given some list of problems and for all these problems we have given almost all possible solutions and then we have also given the code for the best possible solution right now once you are done with all these four parts you will be able to solve any problem which will be asked in these companies okay now what are the companies that you could target is you can target any product based company uh, which you might get it in the campus interviews or you might apply them off campus as well now these are the list of the product based companies you know some companies which we are given here but the list contains even more companies but we are given only few companies now the companies are like this google microsoft inmobi walmart all these companies okay now who should register for this course is either if you are a b or b tech student and if you are trying for an interview or for an internship or a you know developer position in this product based companies you can go with this or if you are a me m tech mb M mca or uh, ms or even if you are doing ms in us and if you have this course algorithms in your curriculum you can go with this course or if you are working in some service based companies like uh, infosys or uh, tcs like this and if you want to switch to product based companies this course will definitely be helpful for you okay so even mbca and mca students can also use it right now i'll tell you what are the other uh, other support systems that we provide if you register for this course now okay so if you register for the course we provide you email support you can write us uh, you know if you have any doubts you can simply say, drop us an email we'll reply to you and we also have a discussion forum where we are going to post every question and for every question you can have a discussion there along with the code or if you have any new questions you too can post a question and we can have the discussions over there for example if you have recently you know gone through an interview and if you want to post some of the questions there yes you can do that and next thing is for every program uh, for every problem that we solve i know for the best possible solution we even give you a working code in c language so these are all the uh, you know you can expect all this support from our side now if you want to register for the course you can contact us uh, in your at an, any of these three places you can drop us an email and our email address is interviewprep.ravindrababu@gmail.com you can simply drop us an email and we'll revert back to you or you can visit our website for all the course details about registration procedure syllabus everything you can find it in in, in our website www.ravindrababurawala.com/interviewprep or you can also call us at our toll free number 18002744514 okay